love and natural beauty, unity and culture show. And we're here on the campus of Chicago State University. We have a young man here who uh, is an alumni of Chicago State, and he has a few words for you today. Come on in, young man, have a seat. And uh, first of all, what's your name, sir? Jamar. That's Brother Jamar. Did you uh, want to give your last name? Is it necessary? Not unless you want to, brother. This is a, this is a voluntary show, so whatever information you want to volunteer. Now, your, your name, Jamar, is that, does it have a special meaning? It up. Okay, brother. Okay, first of all, let me ask you, you're alumni from Chicago State University, so what exactly was your major when you uh, were here? Management. Management? Yeah, my major was management, business management. Okay, so how long have you been away from the college? Uh, I graduated uh, last year, December 09. Okay, great. Okay, since December of 2009, how's the job market been looking out there for you? Uh, well, I, I got to say that it's been like, uh, being that I didn't have any experience in the management field, uh, per se, just the uh, class courses that I, that I have taken. Uh, I mean, it's been, you know, iffy. I, I haven't really got started in the management field yet, but I had, did, uh, to get into uh, maybe into a Walgreens uh, management training program, but uh, that I didn't I didn't get into that because uh, some things had transpired. But uh, I had just stayed in school. That's why I still uh, stayed in school. Great. So okay, let's talk about Chicago State for a minute. Your education here. What can you say positive? that you got from your education. Being an alumni, I'm sure there's many different things you can touch on, but just touch on a few points to people who may be considering Chicago State. Uh, I mean, what I got out of it was, I gotta say I just got a degree and some uh, extra knowledge as far as uh, management skills and other types of management uh, programs as far as like uh, the other courses that encompass the entire management industry as a whole, like, uh, what was it, uh, labor relations and information, uh, international business, just all the courses that I, 97 is a good form but, uh, yeah, just all the, the coursework that went along with the, with the program, I thought it was good for too beneficial to me for us getting uh, more insight on the business and as far as the field, the industry itself. Excellent. So uh, it sounds like you have a pretty positive uh, attitude as it relates to Chicago State. Is that safe to say? Sure. Absolutely. Okay. Well, uh, we want to ask you this for the people who consider uh, Chicago State as a destination for education. Um, what would you tell young people? about uh, maybe the process uh, and the attitude that's needed in order to not only come here but maintain yourself here and become like one of yourself, a one who has come through here. Oh, I would definitely say it's all on you. You got to want to do this and go to school, finish, uh, obtain a degree if you start. I mean, I, I got my associate's degree from Kenny Keys with business management, I pursued the bachelor's because that's what I was going to do. So it basically the drive has to be in you to want to do it and uh, pursue, pursue the, uh, your degree. So that is, young people, it's all on you. Opportunity is here. Obama has put a lot of different things here uh, in place as far as education for you to come and learn, not just young people, but anyone. Um, age is not a factor. Um, step up to the plate, come to Chicago State, some other college, and take advantage. Now, we want to ask you about uh, love. We want to ask you about culture. We want to ask you about natural beauty and unity. Uh, you can answer one word or you can elaborate. So, you 
questions you want to ask me about Yeah, I want to ask you about love. Love, love as it relates to uh, you as a black man, okay? What does love mean to you in terms of male-female relationships? What does love mean to you as far as your people? Oh, well, love to me, uh, it's just for a relationship, heterosexual relationship to a man and woman, what it means to me that uh, first has to be a trust and respect at love. intelligence to me, brother. Now, in terms of natural beauty, are you a brother that likes a sister with the afro? I noticed there was a sister here today. She was, you know, naturally, the way our hair grows, she was wearing it like that. Now, what is your feeling about natural beauty? Oh, uh, definitely natural beauty is definitely what's happening with me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, as far as, uh, I don't mind that, you know, what we need extensions, whatever you want to call it. Teach his own. I mean, I don't judge him. If I mean, if you want to be attractive, she attractive. Uh, but I would really, I could agree to appreciate natural beauty as far as without uh, pop on fingernails and extensions. Just come together. Okay. It's okay. good enough. You know what I'm saying? Keep right. yourself up nice and neat, presentable. You know? Right. right. It's suffice. For me, I don't have to have you made up boot gobs and make up foundation on your skin. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, natural beauty is definitely a good look. If you're naturally beautiful, you're beautiful without a wake up. Would you say black women are naturally beautiful? Would you say that? Yeah. All right. I can say that, but you know. Okay. Well, I mean, if you can say that, I can agree, brother. I just had to make that point for the sisters. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it's just so what's beautiful, yeah. what's beautiful to me might not be beautiful to somebody else. You know? That's right, that's right, that's right. You gotta keep it real as far as, you know. You gotta keep it real, bro. It's, you know, as far as, uh, hey, if you want to, it's, it's about a bad woman, uh, what's the word I want to use now? I want to uh, uh, show herself or present herself. You know? Okay. That can be beautiful as far as their personality can be beautiful. It don't have to be just skin deep beauty. Yes, sir. You can have inner beauty. Yes, right. right. Speak inner to that a little bit, inner beauty. Yeah. Speak to what you want me to elaborate on. Inner beauty. beauty. Elaborate on that a little know, bit. Inner beauty is just a good attitude as far as, uh, you know, she's not after a materialistic thing. She go oriented herself, you know. And, uh, she's okay. just looking to uh, have a good man to stand by her and, you know, be quiet. Partnership, relationship, real relationship, you know, as far as uh, building something that's more than just uh, superficial thrills. Okay. All right. All right. Speak to this, brother. Speak to the fact that, uh, uh, given they say it's uh, three quarters of a billion people of African descent worldwide, uh, probably more than that now, because when I read that statistic, that was years ago. You, as far as unity is concerned, first, do you believe that either we have it, or we had it, or can we get it, or or uh, is it possible to create it? Speak to unity, brother. Speak to that. Oh, well, uh, well, I 
I might say in regards to unity can we as African Americans have unity. I mean we can have what we want if that's what we strive to have. That's the ultimate goal to, for us as a whole. If that's what we want to do, I believe that we, we, we could be So able. you do believe it's possible? Yeah, it's absolutely. It could okay. be possible okay. as unity as a whole. But we have to have all the uh, great minds come together. Who are some of the great minds that you know about off the top of your head? As far as the moves and shakers, as far as people who bring people together, together, we have to have people come together at all at all levels. Okay, that's and right. I agree. Uh, education level. <laughs> okay. Everybody got to come together. We have to have, we have, to have a, a objective as far as it, that's going to be obtainable for everybody to reach. Okay, great. Well, last point I want you to make is on uh, culture. Okay, a lot of people say we should be wearing African clothes at least once a week, once a day, or you, you, you know, you could rock a, an African uh, chain or something. Anything that signifies other than your skin color that you uh, down with the idea of you're thinking about Africa and your ethnic origin. Does that have any place in your mind? Speak to that culture issue. Well, what, well, well, basically, what I'm asking you is, you as a man, culturally, what are you putting forth culturally as an impact? Because you have lived. So speak to it from your individual perspective. Okay, well, as far as me, in regards to what do I put forth, well, I'm, I, I'm not just trying to say that I'm a role model or anything. I'm just trying to maintain myself. I understand and, that. And I will have a good word with you real somebody tell me that man as far as man investing yourself go to school it's okay. your job okay you know what i'm saying all, all right. that other the street stuff that we do you know that's not going anywhere as far as any time all right. and that the only benefits they could basically come from that is the negative outcome as far as you want to see a drill on the street i mean that's get right. some fast money you get some money that's right you know but a lot of times people get money on the street they don't know what to do with that but they get the money anyway point made brother and then at the same token, you know, you're not helping your people by, you know what I'm saying, selling drugs to them or whatever. I mean, okay. you know what it is, what it is. But people not forced to do drugs. They, that's a choice that they make you know, on their own. They don't want to do drugs. People want to sell drugs. But it's not even just about that because black people ain't bringing drugs into the world and the community. I don't think. I think, yeah. man, if it's the That's a whole nother conversation. Yeah, a whole nother <laughs> conversation. It's bigger than that. So. That's right. <laughs> okay, that's been the love and natural beauty, unity and culture show. And this was Brother Jamar. Man, and, I, and we I appreciate you for coming. Day. I want you here every day, brother. So we're gonna say peace out. Peace, peace and love, love yourself, every love day. your people. Think for yourself. Absolutely. Because if you don't, somebody else will and it's not gonna be in your favor. We are.